Hi and welcome to the third video um, of Captain Pugwash uh, workshops with me and Dot Rogers. Uh, so I'm just sketching a third and final um, illustration. This time we're doing Captain Pugwash himself again. Um, if you want to follow the sketch, uh, I've tried to speed it up as quickly as I can uh, while still letting it make sense but if if you just want to know about the animation and the mechanisms then you can skip to the next video uh, which is just uh, me taking the picture and turning it into a paper craft um, animation uh, with levers and pulleys and that kind of thing uh, so basically today we're going to get a pug wash with moving eyes and also the uh, classic captain pug wash moving mouth feature so we're going to use two separate levers and pulleys uh, but for the moment you can just keep watching while I uh, draw along. Again, keep turning your page, don't turn your, your hand or your wrist too much. Uh, if you're stretching or straining then it probably is a good indicator that you need to turn your page uh, to accommodate the natural curve of your wrist. Uh, so sort of go with the, the natural movements of your arm and wrist and hand to make your drawing comfortable. Again, if you're not comfortable, your drawing won't look comfortable. So uh, just, you can see me twisting and turning the page all along. Anyway, uh, I'll leave you to watch the rest. And that is it for the drawing. Um, I'm going to leave that black and white uh, because this is going to be a downloadable template that you can colour in yourself, uh, either draw yourself or print off the template and do it from there. Uh, I'm taking a Stanley knife now and I'm cutting out uh, three different sections. So first is that mouth section. You want to take that away completely. Uh, more on that in the second video. Uh, and then we're going to just trace around the eye sockets with a Stanley knife so that we've got three holes, uh, one for each eye and one for the entire mouth and jaw section. So just follow the lines, uh, be careful, use a cutting mat underneath because it really helps and just go slow and steady, mind your fingers obviously. So now I'm just going to put this on a separate piece of paper and draw in the eyes where I want them. So draw them where you think, just a simple oval. And finally I'm going to get a piece of card and draw a little squiggle really for his beard. And the idea is we're going to animate it uh, more on that in the next video. 